debugging and error handling in SSI's 2012 integration services. This is one of uh, tutorial videos of Red Hat uh, SSI's 2012 uh, series. I'm Rezarat SQL Server MVP author and trainer. In this video, I'll talk about data tabs. What is data tab and how to use data tab for logging? Data tabs uh, store a uh, specific point of the time data stream into flat files. If you have a look at this picture, uh, you can specify which data path in the which um, data flow, which package, which container you want to uh, get the data exported and that data would be exported to some kind of flat files. It's very uh, useful way of uh, lagging especially for a production environment because you don't need to uh, enable data tabs uh, in development time. It's all happen in the uh, time of execution the package and no development uh, tools required for that. After exporting or dumping uh, that data into that uh, flat file. Those flat files uh, will be stored in this folder, which is program files, the SQL server folder, and DTS uh, data dumps. Uh, for using data tabs, unfortunately, there is no GUI at the moment. So if you want to use data tabs, you should use a stored procedure named add to the data tab. This stored procedure, uh, structure of this stored procedure, procedure is like this. This stored procedure uh, asks for an execution ID. You can get that execution ID from create underscore execution stored procedure. So that literally means that if you want to use data tabs, you should execute your package uh, by uh, some kind of uh, stored procedure like create execution, start execution, and then in the middle of that, you should add data tab. Then you need to um, set the location of task, where, which task, which data flow task you want to do that. You can address the package and the uh, um, container if there is any, and the, the data flow task. Inside the data flow task, you should set the path ID. The path would be actually the data path that you want to be stored. For example, in the path of that data flow, we want the, path, the flat so file source output of the flat file source. Uh, for example, flat file source has another output as well, which is error output. But in this uh, case, we want just the source output. Then the data file name, uh, you can set the data file name to be something like that. And then you, you use just add data tab. Uh, as a sample here, I just want to add data tab to our um, uh, sample exercise package here. This sample exercise package has a container inside that, and inside that container there is a data flow task. And we want to put a data tab in this path. So here you can see that we have that add data tab. That add data tab points to um, that package, to that package, and uh, to the container, and to the data flow task, and the path we say on flat file source. We want flat file source output, and the uh, output file. Before that, we should create the execution because we need execution ID. The way to get execution ID is use create execution stored procedure. For that create execution the stored procedure, it's easy. We just need package name, as you can see in the hierarchy here. Uh, so we just need the package name, which will be this, and the folder name, which is this, and the project name. So we need these three to execute the to create the execution and they get the execution ID. After getting this execution ID, we will add data tab. Then if we have any kind of uh, parameters, we use set execution parameter value uh, stored procedure to add parameters. And finally, we just use start execution to execute that execution ID. So if I execute that, as a result, you see, for example, execution ID showed here, then I can find those dump files into 
um, data type falls into the program files into SQL Server 11.0 DTS data dumps. Here you can see that there are some um, data tabs and these data tabs actually created three times because that the data flow runs three times. If I just right click and open it, you can see that this is a flat file. This is kind of a flat file, comma separated values with all uh, column header and values in it. So it's quite useful and handy, especially when you are in production environment and you want to uh, get that data because uh, when um, SSI's package run overnight, uh, it's good to have uh, kind of these data tam dumps to understand which part of the data has the problem and sometimes you don't have that uh, data file coming again so it's good to keep those records there. In summary, you've learned how to use data tabs and how to enable them with some simple stored procedure call and uh, you also seen how this will be stored into flat files.